Now, last but not least, let's do our inset. Again, all of these components are separate little pieces, so we have to group things together so that they're easier to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just clicking and dragging over the lines and I'm gonna press Control or Command G to group those together. Now, with this particular set of inset, it looks like it's an actual, um, like a line itself, but if you were to look really, really close, you can see it's actually a rectangle. So the reason why I did that is because I thought it would be easier than having to work with lines. You know, everything within this, you're just going to fill it with color. So to me, that was easier than worrying about lines and widths and everything. If it's a rectangle, it's a shape. It's, you know, it's anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so on that one, you know, maybe you might want a tan line. So I went ahead and just put in a tan line. And I want to select my top, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the bottom line. And let's fill that with black. Oh, and again, we need to, I'm going to select both of these. And we want to choose a line color of none and a cut style of none because we don't want those to cut. And we'll just go ahead and leave the outer edge. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could have that be, you know, you could fill it with a, a yellow or whatever you want. So again, totally customizable. You can change the color of, of this line. You can change the color of these lines. You can change the color of the background. It's, you know, the possibilities are endless. You, you get to make it how you want to make it, which I think is fabulous. So I am going to go ahead and just choose a white fill color. And then I want to group it together. So select everything. And you can do that by pressing Control or Command A or just clicking and dragging in everything. And then we're gonna press Control or Command G to group it together. And now we need to size this so that it's six inches wide. So let's come to our scale window and the width is six inches. Lock the aspect ratio and click apply. So again, now we've gone through the process. We've made this in the color, just kind of a standard colored scheme that, that we can use, you know, whenever we want to. And now let's go ahead and save it. So press Control or Command Shift S for save as, or you can use the file pull down. And we're just gonna go ahead and say, okay. And now we have that as a studio file. So now we can work with all three components together. So let's go ahead and we're going to, um, with this all selected, we're gonna press Control or Command C for copy. Or you can use your right. Um, if you can't remember the keystrokes, I, I'm a keystroke junkie. I, to me, it's much easier to just, you know, quickly flip my fingers on my keyboard and, and do a keystroke than it is to right click or use the pull down menus. But those are the you know options for you to use as well. So we can do copy. And let's come over here to our recipe pattern. And I'm going to paste it. And I can press Control or Command V. Or you can right click it and put it there. And let's just go ahead and select both. And come to our align. And we want to center. So now you can see it's centered everything up really nice. And let's come grab our label. And let's group it together. I don't think it was grouped together. Control or Command G and Control or Command C for copy. And come to our pattern and do Control or Command V. Or you could do, you know, right click and do paste. So now we have our little um, recipe card. It's looking really cute. And you can put this wherever you want. You could rotate it, put it on the side, put it on the bottom, however you want to. My thought process on this is that you could go, okay, let's put drinks. Let's put, um, you know, all, all drink recipes will be there. All um, uh, appetizers will be there. All main courses or soups, um, you know, desserts, etc., are kind of placed there along the way so that every time you have kind of a, a visual, you know, it was one of those visual things that you can just go, oh, wait, you know, I know that's clear up on the right. That's going to be a dessert. So let's go ahead and do this one. And I'm gonna zoom in even more here. And I am going to do, I'm gonna type in, an, a, in a label for this and I'm going to call it, let's do chocolate chip cookies. So let's get our text tool. And the font that I used was called Myriad. Um, it's just one that I have on my computer. You could use Arial or whatever font it is that you want. Um, this is just kind of, I kind of liked the look of the way this was going. So I'm going to choose that. I want a center justification and let's start with a font size of like 14. And let's click and I'm going to type 
go. Oh, let's make a white. Let's make it white. Okay. So now we'll type chocolate chip. And I want to have two separate lines and I'll show oops. Two separate words here because I'll show you why. And let's grab our text tool again and type in cookies. Uh, let's change it to white. <laughs> okay, cookies. All right, now on the bottom word, what I want is I want that spaced out because I just thought that added a fun look. So I'm going to come to my text window. And I can just click on the up arrow key and it just spaces out the word cookies. And then we can take that and that and the chocolate chip word and let's center everything. Oops, align and center. So now we have our, um, the, whatever it is that we're doing, whatever uh, recipe it is that we want to do, we've got it, we're ready to go and we can just print it out and we're good to go. Or you can, you know, treat it as a print and cut and it will cut. But since these are straight edges, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If you want to, we, you can even select the words and, and change that into a print and cut and see how that would cut out that detail. And then you could um, place it on your recipe card. So that, you know, would just add a little extra dimensional detail. So there you go. There you have it. What you could do now is, like I say, you can do it as a print and cut. You can print it however you want to. But there's your recipe card. And now another option that you can do um, if you want to just make generic um, cards is you could turn this inside line to say, uh, let's do kind of that yellowy, oops, yellowy orange color. Oh, let's ungroup it first. Huh? Okay, and then choose the line and we want to make it sort of a yellow color. And then we can choose this and make it white. So, so with this, you can make it so that your label is just generic so that you can write in whatever it is that you want. So if you just want to make a bunch of them so that you don't have to type in all the words, you can do that. And as I'm looking at my shape here, I want to take off that outer line. So let me come in here and turn off that line color. There, that's better. Okay, so that's how you can make your recipe cards. You know, the with working with the standard edition and the DXF, you know, you do have to do a little extra work in turning off line colors and cut lines and um, modifying the colors to suit your needs. And then once you do that, you can just save it as a studio file and then it's saved that way forever. So um, it, it does take a little more work, you know, in this route, but it still can be done and, and it is relatively easy. All right. So that's how you do that. Thanks for stopping by.